Hello, my name's Andrew, and I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about keeping your guitar from getting too dry. This is uh, my guitar, and I keep it moist with a couple of simple do-it-yourself tools that are very inexpensive. I used to have a Larave, and it was a beautiful guitar. I loved to play it, but I didn't take care of it. And after a short period of time, a couple of years living in Alberta where it's very dry, I started to get cracks in the face of my guitar, and they ran from just under the bridge all the way out to the edge, a huge big six inch crack in the middle of my guitar. And the first time I noticed this, I was distraught. And after a little while, I learned to start humidifying my guitar, and I could tell if I was doing a good job because that millimeter wide crack that ran down the face of my guitar would expand a little bit to about two millimeters if I was letting it get too dry. And if I had it humidified enough, it would close right up and you could hardly tell that it was there unless you knew to look for it. When I got this guitar, I decided that I was gonna do better. And so I invested in some inexpensive but very useful tools to help that happen. And the first of them is a hygrometer. Now a hygrometer senses moisture and it allows you to tell how the air inside your guitar is doing. And you want for it to be between 40 and 50%, aiming for 45 sort of as your ideal. Uh, and so if it goes much above 50, uh, you need to be careful. Uh, and if it goes below 40, you certainly want to pay attention to that. Having one of these inexpensive digital hygrometers is a very useful thing. I bought a three pack of them on Amazon for about $20 uh, and I've seen six packs for $20. Uh, they're very inexpensive, three or four dollars each if you get a good deal. Uh, and it tells you exactly how dry or moist the air inside your guitar is, which is a good indication of how dry or humid the wood is. And you want to keep that wood with a good amount of moisture in it to avoid the wood splitting when the wood contracts and the pieces of wood come apart from one another, that can have very bad consequences. Well, once we know where we're at in terms of our humidity, how do we get more moisture inside the wood of the guitar? Well, I've got a couple solutions. First of all, you can go to the dollar store and get a soap dish and drill a few holes in it and then get some sponges and put a moist sponge inside the case. It fits quite nicely. Cover it up and then I tuck one into the, the, the gap that the cutaway in my guitar leaves and I put a second one underneath the head of the guitar and that provides plenty of moisture for the exterior and the neck of the guitar making sure that they don't dry out. But what about the interior of the guitar? I used to have a, uh, a, a humidifier that would go down in between, in a plastic case with a sponge inside, between the strings of the guitar and keep the interior of the guitar, which is not covered with finish, and so it's the easiest place for water to propagate throughout the wood of the guitar. And so I found some mesh bags that are made of just a plastic, and you can find these on Amazon. I got a 10 pack of them for about $20, making them about $2 each. And then inside the bag, I put a moist sponge and a die. Now my wife bought some dice for a game uh, that my kids wanted to play, uh, but she bought them on Amazon, so it came in about a 20 pack, and we have more dice than we will ever need. And so I use this, but you could use a, a small smooth rock or something else and just tuck the mesh bag in beside the strings and then use whatever little object you have to tuck between the strings, allowing you to, to not have the, the bag fall all the way through into uh, the, the body of the guitar because every guitar player knows how annoying it is to have to try to fish something out of the interior of your guitar. When you're preparing the sponge to go into one of these cases, you want to dip it in water or run it under a tap and squeeze it a bit to make sure that the water gets all the way through the sponge. And then you want to completely wring out the sponge, getting all the water out of it that you can. You don't want water dripping out of the plastic case onto the guitar or inside of the guitar. That can do damage. Make sure that the sponge is moist but as dry as you can make it by wringing it out completely. 
And so with some very inexpensive and simple objects, you can keep your guitar humidified and have a much better solution for determining whether your guitar is moist enough or not, rather than just paying attention to whether the cracks open wider or close shut. With a little bit of time and effort, you too can protect your guitar and keep it in good working condition. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.